Starman Podcast. Hello and welcome one and all to another Starman Debates. I am your host, Devin. With me is Cody, Billy, and David. Hey everybody. Woo! Greetings to everyone! Hey guys, before we get started, uh, we'll just go around the room and see what everyone's doing gaming-wise, movie-wise, TV-wise. Alright. Watch your movies. What was the last movie you watched? Uh, Avatar. The blue skin people, right? <laughs> yep, I'm not watching that other crap. Good. My respect for you went up a little bit. I'm sure it'll drop to zero again soon enough. Yeah, yeah I'd give him five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's just, that's too generous. Just yeah. give me five seconds. And already it's dropped. <laughs> the second you docked. <laughs> yep. Billy! Um, been uh, playing the Resident Evil 2. Make that's gonna date this episode. <laughs> that's fun, and I recommend it for anyone fans of the original. Except, uh, don't play uh, with Cody, he gets scared. Um, uh, I'm still trying to clean the state off my couch. You got scared by a remake, a jump scare, no less. Yeah, it was a jump scare. I, I don't get it. It's a really scary jump scare, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I can do a good Cody whenever I want. <laughs> yes, yes, you can. <laughs> hey, there you go. We'll get Cody off. You can just do you. I'm uh, just filling for him. He'll sound more intelligent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then people will know it's not Cody, so that'd be... Yeah. yeah. And he talks less, that's another suspicious thing. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, David. I f- <laughs> I'm back on the sweet coat bus. <laughs> I just booted up the first one for shits and giggles, and now I'm just going through the series again. So you just kind of walk in the street there with your arms wide open and just let the Sukkot and bus hit you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Baby, I'm coming home. <laughs> David nailed to the front of a Sukkot and bus. It's the best image in my head right now. <laughs> like, happily embracing it. <laughs> yeah, it was the biggest grin you ever see. And just because we did the episode, all right, I'm playing Mod the Spire, which is a Slay the Spire with mods. Um, the mods are now available in the Steam Workshop, and the game just came out of early access, and is now supporting mod support. Yeah. Nice. With this, you can get new characters, new relics, and in the game stuff, as well as some group just made a new chapter. Yeah, might as well, it just keeps the gameplay fresh. Yes. It's going to have five more years of gameplay out of it just because of that. Yeah. The best part is developers can just sit back and go, yep, people are still going to buy it. (laughs) (laughs) When you get fans to do, it'll work for you. (laughs) So guys, um, I've been watching a lot of cartoons lately, so I came up with a question that may or may not have an answer. Who had the better cartoons, Disney or Warner Brother? Hmm. Now uh, the two giant titans competing in a never-ending battle for your time and money. <laughs> so, just as a disclaimer, we are going to talk about just their cartoons, not the movies or any live-action shows. Second disclaimer, this is all personal opinion. <laughs> I understand that a lot of Disney fans are out there and there's a lot of Warner Brothers fans. Don't kill us. <laughs> Let's try to appease to both so at least one mob won't lynch us. <laughs> if we have both, then we failed horribly. Yeah. None. We did a real good job. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll go around the room first and just uh, list off some of the uh, cartoons you used to watch from either one of these groups. Let's see. Yogi Bear, The Jetsons... Flintstones. Wait, 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 wait. Those sound like Hanna-Barbera cartoons. Funny you should ask. It turns out back in 2001, Hanna-Barbera was absorbed by Warner Brothers. It's like a giant slime ball just absorbing <laughs> another slime ball just to make itself bigger. Awesome. Yep. 
Get that image in your head, people. <laughs> <laughs> also figure out what I've been recently playing in Slay the Spire. <laughs> You're missing the hat, though. I wish I could get a bowler hat like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, for the sake of argument, uh, we're going to classify Hand of Barbera as part of Warner. So I used to watch from Disney because apparently they had cartoons. Yeah, fun fact, everyone. Cody did not realize Disney <laughs> made cartoons before we started this episode. We had to fill him in on this. Well, technically, it wasn't that I didn't know. I just forgot. That's a pretty selective memory you have there. It really is. It's yeah, kind of it's scary. scary. <laughs> Uh, well, the ones I watched from them were Darkwing Duck, DuckTales, <laughs> Gargoyles. Uh, you got three of the major ones. <laughs> yeah. Can you name the others? Hercules, probably. Not one of the Titan ones, though. Yeah. No. Um, Chippendale. Chippendale was one. Yep. And, you know, that's all I got right now. Hey, you want to fill in and finish off? Let's see. He missed Tailspin, I think. Tailspin? Goof Troop. That oh, crap. Yep. <laughs> and there was that bonkers girl, too, but we don't talk about that. No. That <laughs> wasn't a Titan. That was <laughs> a mistake. Yeah, I was like... <laughs> To me, I'm just going to throw this one out there. Bonkers always felt like it took the idea of Roger Rabbit and tried to be its own thing with it. Yeah. yeah. Also, he's a cop. Yes. Yeah. For some reason. Because it just makes sense, I guess. Say some executive was um, a little drinky. Mm, that uh, makes sense. That doesn't make sense, Cody. Yeah. No, it doesn't. If you brought up Elmira Pinky in the brain, then yes, I would agree. Holy Christ. Someone in Warner Brothers loves Elmira. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, even in the opening song, they actually say it's the executive's decision. Why bother to complain? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kids love an annoying little girl that loves animals, right? To death. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like someone tried to push her and well yeah never a good idea to do that with the character but I'll be honest that wasn't a bad show oh yeah it was like still a Warner Brothers one so it was good it was just a weird concept yeah even as a kid I'm like why is she here yeah. I would never associate, like, the Pinky and the Brain universe with the Tiny Toons universe. No, like, you just cannot make that connection. <laughs> yeah. But we'll digress. So, there's one of the cartoons from Warner Brothers. Mm -hmm. Can anyone care to name a few more? Batman. The Batman animated series. Animaniacs. Animaniacs. Freakazoid! Freakazoid. Scooby-Doo. A bunch of the Scooby Doo's yeah, got yeah. a remix. And... Johnny Quest? Oh, that was a classic. <laughs> yes, actually, it was. Yeah. Which version? Hmm, which... The 60s one, yeah. not the 90s one. Yeah, <laughs> I ended up seeing both because they were all like the same one. I used to watch both all the time. Yeah. I guess the 90s one had its moments, but it's definitely not as memorable as the 60s one. Hmm. Teen Titans. Batman Beyond. Yeah. yeah. That was a good yes. one. Yeah. Which, which, that, that was a good show. Superman. Yeah, we can't talk about that with Superman. So, let's get this one out of the way real quick. Apparently, DC is owned by Warner Brothers. And Marvel is owned by Disney. <laughs> so there's two more Titans in this. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's like we have our leaders and here's our champions yeah. to fight at him. 
Eventually, all the all the cartoons will be owned by either Disney or Warner Brothers. Hmm? So that brings us to the back to the debate. Thankfully, <laughs> who do you want to see win this fight? I'll throw my hat in both rings. Actually, it's not a good idea for one to get too much of a head over the other. Oh, there needs to be competition, otherwise we don't get a variety of shows like we have. No. Yeah. Personally, I feel like Disney's been making a real comeback from oh, recent with its, years. With remakes, yes, yeah. and um, newer shows like Gravity Falls. And yeah. New DuckTales. New DuckTales, well, that's a remake. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but yeah, they're like making a real comeback yeah. from that. Yeah, I feel like I wouldn't mind checking out the new DuckTales. I saw the trailer, or pilot episode, it was fantastic, and then got itself put on the uh, cartoons I'm going to watch eventually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. And, you know, I might check out Dragon Falls too. I have oh. a complete set. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, both of us do. Yeah. <laughs> After I showed you, we're like, yeah, we got it on this. Yes. Yeah. Hand Barbera side of Lord Brothers is doing pretty good, I think. At least with Scooby Doo. They seem to have taken up Scooby Doo and kind of dropped all the other guys. Yeah, yeah that's a shame. Which is a shame because I would love to see a reboot of Wacky Races of all things. Oh, they did. Really? Yeah. In like 2017, they did a reboot of Wacky Races. Oh, wow. Races. I don't know how good it did, but it exists. Okay, so they at least attempted, and I'll yeah. give them props for that. Probably didn't do too well if I haven't heard of it. No. Yeah, I mean, Racky Races was a good one. Oh, yeah, no. I we didn't love Racky Races. Yeah. <laughs> but the Laugh Olympics, that was also great. Watch all your Hanna Barbera cartoon characters try to do Olympics. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a thing? That was a thing. Yep. yep. Oh, my head hurts. <laughs> well, this is new. You're thinking, of course it hurts. Concepts hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Brain cells hurt. Yours do. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird show. Yeah. <laughs> I liked it, but I was like, wow, that's just pandering. Yeah. <laughs> There's like half the group I did not know where or who they were. I think they were just some of them were just made for the show. Really? Yeah. Or they were so freaking obscure then you <laughs> they're like originally background characters and they're like <laughs> Or something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing you won't see in Disney is a mashup of like all the characters in the one. Except for House of Mips. Oh yes. Oh, really? <laughs> that... Yeah, that was a good show, though. I've been watching that. <clears throat> don't think I've ever seen it. I was like, the one Mickey gets, opens up like a nightclub. Yep. Oh, okay. Where all the Disney characters kind of hang out. Yeah. And, they, and they do short skits. Sorry, I keep cutting you off. Awesome. But... <laughs> you want to take more? Oh, yeah. more? Oh, yeah. No. I mean, it was like, they had like, like, new, like, they tried to do like new cartoons. They would have some old cartoons. That sounds interesting. And yeah, Mickey was the only. I think Goof, Goofy was the way that Max was the uh, ballet. Yeah. That seems actually interesting. And they did this spin off of a one off episode of House of Villains, but the villains took over. Yeah. That's when I kind of was like, I would actually be interested to see this. Yeah. But you know you'd be disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see this, but I'm, I gotta have a br bottle of disappointment ready. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's what you call rum, right? That's what we call rum in my family. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you call whiskey? Bottle of excitement. There you go. <laughs> 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 I'm 
no one's seen a serious lack of Looney Tunes. Does anyone else notice that? Now, yeah, like it's. Yeah, you won't see Looney Tunes for a while. They started off with Looney Tunes and. Wow, how long ago? 60s? 70s? Oh, really? Oh, the, like the 30s? 30s or 40s. 30s. Oh, wow. So. Man, I haven't seen anything Looney Tunes in a while. Yeah, there was that Looney Tunes show where they all moved into urban areas. But yeah. That didn't last long. Yeah, no. I think we just called it the Looney Tunes show and it was yeah. supposed to be. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Yeah. And it was just a rehash of their. Older gags just done more modern, like yeah. That. And then, I mean, even before that, they made a series out of that Duck Dodgers cartoon. Yeah. Uh, in recent years, the only thing I could think of was that was this Wabbit cartoon. Yeah, oh. that's what it was called. Yeah, yeah I remember Wabbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> it does not feel memorable to me. Mickey Mouse on the other hand. Uh, actually have its own cartoons again. Yeah. yeah. They're just hard to find unless you're on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only problem I have with that. <laughs> but they're actually pretty interesting. And weird. <laughs> hmm. Like the pilot episode. Yeah. I think I know what you're talking about, but I... Then again, I might be watching something else that might be inappropriate, so never mind. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, maybe okay. we'll see. Yeah, well, we'll go down that rabbit hole there, there Devin. Yes. <laughs> well, they did use nudity as a gag, but cartoon nudity. So mm-hmm. that, I meant more like that. Yeah. So yeah, if we're talking pure Warner Brothers or pure Disney, then I'd say Disney's Disney kind of stepping up and making yeah. a comeback. Yeah. Where Warner Brothers is kind of falling behind again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I will admit Warner Brothers is making use of its other properties somewhat better. Yeah. So it seems like they kind of flip-flopped over the years. Oh yeah. I remember Disney was owning the market for cartoon movies. Yeah. And Warner Brothers was kind of taking off better with their actual cartoons. Yeah. And now it seems to have reversed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, funny how that works, doesn't it? Yeah, funny how time reverses things. It's yeah. almost like they were like, okay, you had your spotlight in the movies, now we're doing it. No, it's more like shifting with writers and stuff. True. It's more like, we cornered this market, let's branch out now into this market. Yeah. And not realize that when we branch out, some market has to suffer. It's usually the one that you're most known for. Yeah, the yeah. 60s was rough for everyone in the cartoon industry. Mm-hmm. Or it was the 50s. Wait, I think it was the 50s. It's TV, that's when TV started getting popular. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, originally the cartoon shows were just done... You could almost see them like movie theaters. Yeah, like Mad Days and stuff. Yeah. But all of a sudden it's like, holy crap, it's this new medium we can use. But we're going, it's like going from a yearly schedule to a weekly schedule. That's really going to mess you up. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's like, holy freak, we got to pump out more cartoons now. <sighs> well, there goes the animation budget. Yep. <laughs> Stick figures it is. <laughs> that looks like Mickey, right? You just spilled coffee on this. <laughs> <laughs> It's Mickey. Just let him know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this picture of someone like holding up a piece of paper in front of the camera, just mm. dancing a back and forth. You're not too far off. No, I'm not. Mm. <laughs> and it's like this cartoon sucks. No, kids watched it. Oh wow! Back in the day, that was progressive. Yeah. <laughs> 
If wow. you could dance a piece of paper and not have people realize you're dancing a piece of paper, mm-hmm. yep. you were doing really good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's TV magic, people. Yep. Magic. <laughs> Yeah, so, like, yeah. I remember the old like handled barrels stuff. That was. Oh yeah, that was uh, groundbreaking in some aspects, one or way or another. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, like, so the one like the one that's always died off of. Because mm, I know uh, some of the stuff they're trying to make a comeback with some of them through like direct TV movies, and in some very very weird cases, comic book form. Yeah, I oh. noticed this actually is a trend in the comic book yeah. store. A lot of the Hanna Barbera characters are making their own comics. Oh wow, and they're weird. <laughs> to tell? Yeah, I didn't want to buy any, so I don't have any. For example. Ah, oh. okay. Fair enough. Let's see what can I think of. Uh... Oh, they kind of turned the Scooby Doo gang into a Ghostbuster esque type of team. Okay, thing. okay. Like that cybernetic gear and everything. Oh, yes. <laughs> and okay. They made Shaggy look more like a hipster than a hippie. <laughs> hey, hey, they got they got to work with the times, right? Yeah. Hippies were good back then. Hipsters are good now. Yeah. And both Jetsons and the Flintstone comics were weird as hell. They got into excess existential stuff. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, like... Uh, existential. Yeah. You know, like, it, questioning their lives and stuff. Oh, wow. We we'll never picture Fred Flintstone questioning his existence. Oh. Yeah, or like the way they live or, or something like that. I don't know. It's been so long. But hey, Byron, you ever think we could be doing better than rocks? Mm-hmm. I think they actually might have said something like that. Oh, I think we could have been doing something better than what we're doing to help. <laughs> I think that might have actually... I don't know, Fred. Fred, that's teacher speaking. You can be quiet, Fred. They're going to get you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, not all of them are like that. I think Johnny Quest is still doing good in the comic form, at least. I know they've been trying to revive him for a while. That's this is a bit off topic, but anyone who watches Venture Bros knows that Johnny Quest is a factor in that show. Yeah, Johnny Quest isn't doing too well in that show. No. He's doing better, <laughs> but I mean, like earlier in the early episodes, they directly referenced it. Now they're trying to move away from that and I think that was a, an executive decision because they're trying to revive Johnny Quest and they're like this doesn't look too good to be fair that's not the only kind of barbaric cartoon they ripped on oh <laughs> yeah that show rips on a lot oh, yeah. of them. yeah <laughs> so we talked about like their titans and their better cartoons, but we gotta actually talk about their junk cartoons. Oh. Regale us, Devin. What would they be? I'm actually not 100% sure because it's all a matter of opinion. Nah. And most of these, like, you'd watch maybe one or two episodes and you're like, this is garbage and never watch it again. Alright. For me, a lot of the Disney ones are the spin-offs of their movies, such as Stitch. Aladdin. Aladdin was not one that struck me as a really great cartoon. Well, it did have the crossover with the Hercules cartoon. Yeah, that's another one I was like, I liked the movie Hercules, I did not really care for the cartoon. I, I but, think this is because I didn't like the same they picked. They just picked, like, young Hercules. But he's yep, in now. high school. In high school. <laughs> but think of all the slapstick adventures they can have in that setting. Yeah. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about bonkers. Yeah. Uh, Timon and Pumbaa. Yeah, that was an odd one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever watched it. Might have blocked it all out. Well, it didn't last long, I think, so that could be understandable. Yeah, because they just came out like just on the heels of each of the big movies. Yeah. Lisa, so... Sure. They just wanted to capitalize that on the TV form. Oh, yeah. As, as people were known to do. <laughs> now, Water Brothers, the baby Looney Tunes show. Mm. Anyone actually watch that? What about Baby Anything? They did Tom and Jerry Kids, Pup Deep, Scooby Doo. Yeah. I've never seen yeah. this show. Here's a fun development tip for upstarting cartoons. Don't do baby versions of your already adult version characters. Yeah. Yeah, they tried to do that with Yogi Bear and that destroyed a whole programming block. Yeah. Uh, yo, yo, yo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not wrong. It kind of nearly killed. <laughs> yeah. They made Magilla Gorilla Magilla Ice, for God's sakes. Yep. <laughs> That's what the cool kids like. Yep. It was wait, the wait, 80s. Wait, 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 wait. What? Sylvester and Tweety had their own show. Yep, yep. yep. Sylvester and, and Tweety, Tweety should Mysteries. Be I felt bad for Sylvester in that one. <laughs> yeah. My God. That's the only time where I was actually, I feel sorry for Sylvester out of the group of characters here. Yeah, he really got abused in that one. <laughs> like, unfairly abused at sometimes too. Like he was actually trying to help in some situations. Yep. Mike Tyson. Yeah, Mike Tyson it's mysteries. mysteries. All right, that thing. <laughs> what? That's, that's a Water Brothers cartoon. Yes. Uh, I guess there are more adults swim than Water Brothers, but yeah, that should count. Yeah. Lunatics Unleashed. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm surprised you brought that up. <laughs> Hopefully no one heard that. <laughs> yeah, that's alright. Sorry I left the phone on. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, Looney Tune characters as... No wait, the descendants of Looney Tune characters as superheroes. Not even just the Looney Tunes characters. Descendants? Yes. Oh, wow. I see you not. Crap. Oh, That's wow. another layer of crap added onto the crap. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was okay with the idea of, like, okay, we turned Wile E. Coyote into like a super genius superhero and all this, and I was like, cool. But now you're telling me, that's not even Wile E. Coyote. Nope. That's his, like, Nephew or something. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> wow. What? <laughs> yeah. Did I say no? They, no, it's true. They had an origin episode and it was ridiculous. Because every superhero thing needs an origin episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was in the contact and commissioned the series. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone. At some point, you have to do an origin episode. Everyone likes a good origin story, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's thinking. Tasmania. Oh. Welcome to Tasmania. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to Tasmania. <laughs> you know, Let's... it's just a blah, 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 you know, yak is back me. <laughs> okay, no, let me get it. <laughs> I know. It, I know Finn Crosby and Bob Hope is yeah. Tasmanian Devils. Yeah. Oh, oh that's, I was just I was remember that show because my uh, friends used to quote that line all the time. Yeah. So interesting. It was a bizarre show. It's like you learn more about Taz in his home than you want to know. Yes. But I admit I did watch it like often. Yeah. Well, it was on enough, so that's. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm actually expecting important calls, that's why the phone's on this time. Uh. Right. Yeah, that's 
later. Bunnicula? Bunnicula. <laughs> yeah, it's an old Hanna Barbera cartoon oh, yeah. that got revamped. Beetlejuice. Hey, I like Beetlejuice. Yeah, I mean, I didn't say it. I just said that to bring it up. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're talking about the crap cartoons, though. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Which I have still watched. Which um, I watched it. <laughs> Alright. Coconut Fred. Fred's Fruit Salad Island. Yeah, that was an awful one. I don't even know the premise of this. And I'm assuming it's not Fred Flintstone. No, <laughs> it is a SpongeBob knockoff. I'm sorry, I had to do a spit take. What? <laughs> it's basically SpongeBob if he was a coconut. Living on a Oh place. my god, I actually know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> The voice actor for Coconut Fred was ashamed of doing this. It was friggin' Rob Paulson of all people. He voiced Pinky for those of you, and yeah, yeah. no. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, wow. But yeah, he, he even he was embarrassed to do it. It takes a lot for uh, an actor to say that. Yep. He's like, I, I was in it for the paycheck yeah. only. Uh, like, I was, that's what I was behind. I was contractually obl obliged to do this, and I regretted every minute of it. I only remember from that video game episode. That was a weird one. <laughs> yeah, see, I didn't watch that much of it. So. That's the only one I really remember, so that's how bad it was. Hey, Bill, I'm surprised you never watched Mucha Lucha. Yeah, mask, re mask wrestling. <laughs> Kids, it's little kid wrestlers going to school to learn to, to, learn to be mask wrestlers. Oh, was this some... I want to say I may have watched one or two episodes. Yeah. I, that sounds vaguely familiar. Yeah. Yeah. Funny thing, because they, they had that episode of Look What Happened with Warner Bros. later on. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the stuff they put out. What do you say? Yeah, what are you talking about? The WWE stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or our brothers crossed over with WWE with Scooby Doo and. Oh, yeah. Jets and Swing Zones. Yeah. Welcome to WrestleMania! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, that's one of watching The Undertaker. Who knows? <laughs> How about the Flintstones Undertaker? Oh, uh, that was really funny. <laughs> so wait, who is supposed to be this guy? Wait, I forgot your name. What's your name again? The Undertaker! Wow, good name. <laughs> oh, good luck, Baron! <laughs> <laughs> and who can forget that time Big Show took over the future? Yeah, that was the Jefferson's one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I thought we agreed we wouldn't go into the movies, but apparently that was inevitable. Yeah. Well, technically they're TV, directed dvd videos. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they got Scooby-Doo crossover with everything now. Oh yeah, no. They even have a show now called that, Scooby-Doo and Guess Who. Yeah. They had them team up with the Supernatural cast. Yeah. In one episode. Yeah, I... Yeah. I'm glad you two, you, Cody, and you, Billy, are the ones that remember that the fastest. Yeah. Yeah. Never seen it. I just heard about it. I was like, what are you smoking? It's called money. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta get the older audience with the younger eyes yeah. watching this stuff. Yeah. Otherwise, what's the point? Yeah. Mm, true. <laughs> yeah, we think they had to join up with Kiss. Oh, right. They did that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. I think Steve Urkel was one team up too. Oh wow. Oh, uh -huh. that's really reaching. Uh, yeah. yeah. Or maybe he was in development, I forget. Uh, Still. Yeah. 
Brain cells. God. <laughs> hey, beats Scooby Doo get a clue. Now, what was the premise of that one? <laughs> uh, Shaggy and Scooby inherit a mansion. Minus Fred, Velma, and Daphne. Okay, so there's the two. Yeah. And his uncle owned the mansion, and he was like a scientist and made a type of Scooby snack that would let Scooby transform into various forms. Oh, wow. So, in video game terminology, we just combined Luigi's Mansion with a boy and his blob. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like an experimental thing, and he had to guard it from a weird scientist called Dr. Vibes. That was a very bad Dr. Strange ripoff. Mm. Yeah, bad vibes about this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the joke, Billy. Well, I tried. Yeah, it was... It only went for a season, for obvious reasons. Yeah, yeah. Seemed like, yeah, you really stepped out of your element here. They're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, kids don't seem to be watching us. Yeah, because it's crap. And the name of the show was Scooby, Shaggy and Scooby get a clue. <laughs> so they were confident that it was going to be good. That's <laughs> as they will. Yep. Yep, they rolled snake eyes. Mm -hmm. Oy, it hurts. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> so I think we bashed on both sides enough. <laughs> I think they're both e equally dented. <laughs> it's also how I fix my car. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but, so we're going to go in with final thoughts. And the final question is going to come down to, I guess. If you see a want or hear of a new show, do you, you click in more if it's a Warner Brothers show or a Disney show? Hmm. Or a better way of phrasing that, which one do you have more hesitation for? It's like, hey Billy, there's this new Disney show out. Or hey Billy, hmm. Warner Brothers wants this show. Yeah. More hesitant because I mean, does this for seems... which one? Kind of both, kind of, because, I mean, just on all, like, if you love the show from the past, and you, they try to redo it, and it's crap. Yeah, we're not talking about even a remake. We're just talking about a brand new show. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, so, yeah, I didn't quite fully I, That's why I was trying to rephrase the question before oh. you answered. And I was going to give it a chance, like, if it's something from my favorite franchise. Yeah. So, which one are you more hesitant about, though? If I said a Disney wants a new show or Warner Brothers wants a new show, which one are you going to be like, mm, I'll check that out eventually, or, yeah, I'll check that out right away? Um, maybe Warner Brothers and maybe has a thing on Disney. Fair enough. Because, I mean, I watched both, but. Yeah. We all watched both. We, yeah. That's what this admitted to. Yeah. But it comes down to really which one would you uh, go to bat for in the end? I'll go for yeah. Disney. They seem to have a lot more going on right now. Yeah, they have come, made a, quite a comeback. Yeah. So if you were to tell me Disney's launching something new, back in the day I would have been hesitant. Okay. And now I'd be like, okay, I'll give them a watch. Guess it just leaves me. Yeah. I like both, but right now I'd say Disney, purely based on the fact that Weird Al isn't a cartoon in one of them. Nice. <laughs> it was like Milo's Strange Life or something. I don't remember the name. I know the main character's called Milo and Weird Al voices him. Okay. Oh. <laughs> It was done by the Phineas and Ferb guys, so... Okay. Yeah. That makes more sense to me. Yeah. Dave, you have my curiosity. Now you got my interest. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> well, with that, guys, this has been a Starman Debates. I'm your host, Devin. 
I'm Cody. Have a great night. Billy, dang it. Damn it. See you later. Have a good one, guys. <laughs>